Hi, I'm Paul Arnold. This is my wife, Sandy. We farm in Argyle, New York, northeast of Albany. We, grow, we have a 60-acre farm, four acres in vegetables, and an acre in large fruit and half acre in small fruit. We grow out 30 different kinds of vegetables, and we sell at area farmers markets. There's four of them all together, and we make a living on this. When we started out, we were, we were in larger and smaller markets, and then after we were allowed into one of the larger markets, we found that we only needed to sell in four farmers markets a week, so we dropped the smaller markets because everything we produced could be sold, so the extra days were available for field time. Since we only do farmers markets and spend very little time actually marketing, we have extra time to do the weeding and, and planting that we need to do to keep the farm uh, as efficient as we can. One way that we make a good living here on small acreage is we sell only high quality produce and we get a, a good price for it at the farmers markets. We bring very little very little uh, seconds to the market. We just try to sell the premium stuff, and if we do sell seconds of anything, we do market as such. There's two things that farmers should really be paying attention to when they're growing, and one is to keep good records so that you know where you're coming from and know where you're going to. And the other thing that needs to be really emphasized is to be a better marketer than you are a grower. I think it's important with small growers to capture the retail dollar as much as they can. Well, now we're in Saratoga at our farmer's market. It's a Wednesday at 3 to 6, and it's quite a few, it's uh, about 3.30 right now, and we're still going pretty strong with customers. The initial uh, rush is over with, and we're keeping up with uh, restocking and spraying vegetables to keep them fresh looking. And the tarp is keeping the hot sun off most of the greens, and that's really important to keep the uh, quality, because when somebody comes at 5 o'clock or 5.30, stuff really still looks fresh, and that's really important to, to make those customers feel just as welcome as the ones at 3 o'clock. These people line up at 3 o'clock because they know we're going to take care of them. We've got four or five people here ready to service them rather than just one, because we know that when they get here, they want to be serviced fast, and that's all part of giving good service, is being able to get their order and get on to the next person without them getting frustrated at taking too long. We try to learn as many customers' names as we can because we have such regulars coming back each week that we make it a point to remember names. Displays on our table are, I think, really important to what we want to do you know, at the market. It really helps. We get a lot of customers that say that our displays are really nice. We try to make it really colorful. Uh, our help on the table is uh, presentable, and we like them to always give 110% to the customers. Customers are number one. Some of the innovations that we've made at our stand to uh, help us in marketing is, is to make our stand more visible by adding a red and white awning around the outside of it so the people coming down the market can always pick us out. We also have a logo and a centerpiece right in the middle so that uh, people's focus is right on our logo and remember our name and, and uh, our farm name. We also are always trialing new varieties, uh, such as this year we have purple carrots and yellow carrots that we were playing with. We have blue potatoes. Other things that uh, make, it in make our table interesting and people are always wondering what we're going to have next. We sell beets in many different ways here, as you can see. We got beets here that without tops and beets with tops. And that's really important that we've uh, gotten, get people what they want and give them a choice. We've spent a lot of years developing varieties that are, uh, finding varieties that are really good flavored and have really good presentation out here. Chard, has, this is green chard, and we've got multicolored chard and the red chard. We give every, all kinds of choices of every kind of variety. The same with lettuces. We have all kinds of the bosses and green leaves and the red leaves and, and different kind of oak leaves and romaines. A couple different kinds of, of uh, cucumbers and different onions that we sell and different kinds of zucchini and, and uh, four different kinds of potatoes and many different kinds of tomatoes because we do a lot of heirlooms. We find out if our customers are happy by listening to them at the table and actually asking them questions. Because we're right there at the farmer's market and our customers in front of us, we can just keep right, right on top of what their, what their needs are. And, and if they're unhappy or anything is wrong, we can make it right right there. But most of the times we're asking them, how do you like those red carrots you had last week or how were the, 
how are the white ones and how are the brandy wine tomatoes that we grow. There's all kinds of ways that, uh, and also sales. Sales are going to tell you if something isn't selling and something is not uh, moving on the table that we know that it's not, there's something wrong with that product and then we'll, again we'll start quizzing our customers. One thing that we've done in the past 10 years of, of farming here is to, and selling is to raise prices just little by little. And so what's happened in 10 years is most of the prices that uh, we, we started out with have doubled. Some people come to the market and complain about the prices that we have. For instance, our blueberries we sell in a half pint basket for about the same price that some other growers may sell them in a pint basket. And we merely explain that we have a minimum value and we know what we need to get for that product in order to keep making a living at farming. And over the 10 years that we've been farming, we have increased our efficiency on production and also marketing and we have a large customer base which has been important because uh, as we're raising two children we find we need to spend less time in farming and have a little bit more time for family life.